I've seen many generations these past 2,000 years, but there hasn't been one quite as shocking as this. Well, I suppose it won't be that bad to be buried in this era. It looks like Togetsu's cryogenic sleep device is stopped too, so I guess that means I need to be awake and live. Well, I'm destined to go to prison. At least I'll have work to absorb me until then. Yeah, you should make up for what you did. I'm prepared for that. Anyway, I hear you're going to the moon? Yes. I suppose the moon is your home. Do you want to go back? Hmm. I don't think so. That feeling is gone. So, you don't have any connection to it now? That's complicated too. I linger over it sometimes. Like, I want to know what happened to my family. I know they're not alive anymore. There might not even be any trace of them. Even so, I want some clue. Maybe I want to see what kind of lives the two of them led, and what the moon is like now. Then you should come to the moon too. And abandon the responsibility of what I did here? <laughs> I can't do that. That's too selfish. You can come after you pay for your crimes. I'd feel reassured if I knew you were coming eventually. That's unexpected. Do you really rely on me that much? No, I just think Shin Daniel's knowledge would be useful. So, I'll be waiting for you on the moon. You can be surprisingly kind sometimes. I hope my Sugumi grew up to be like that. Your Sugumi? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. Don't tell anyone. It's awkward. My daughter's name is Sugumi. Her hair was a lot like yours. I see. That's why you were so pushy about our date. I always wanted to go somewhere with my daughter when she was grown. Well, the only part of you that's like her is your hair. Because I'm sure my daughter grew up to be a much kinder, stronger, smarter, and well-behaved individual. Like our Sugumi? Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I was first drawn by her name, but that was just the start. I know she's not my daughter. I like our Sugumi for who she is. She's a really good girl. She'd be glad to know that. So, what are you going to do? Are you coming to the moon? I think I'll leave the preliminary surveying to you while I do my time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Fine, but I'll put you to work when you finally get there. Karin talked to me a few times when I was a cadet. He was so nice, too. At the time, I wondered, why me? There's nothing special about me. I finally understand. It was because I looked so much like Aunt Alice. You know a lot about Seiran City, right, Kasane? We should go sometime. I want to learn about cities other than Suo, like what kind of people live there and the lives they lead. Sure. I don't know too much, but I can show you around. Thanks. So, when would be good? We should probably do it soon. Why? Well, I heard that you're joining the project that's going to the moon. Then you know. The planning and preparations will take time, so it's not like I'm leaving right away. I realized that you were going somewhere, but I didn't think it'd be the moon. I was just so surprised how far ahead you're thinking. I think it's a really amazing decision. It's not that amazing. I'm just doing what I want to. That's what makes it amazing! I mean, we're talking about the moon. It's really far away. Do you think it's reckless? No. I already told you before. I'll always have your back. No matter what path you decide to take. I mean, we're friends! Distance doesn't matter between friends. Even if it's from the Earth to the Moon. Thank you. I feel so much better knowing that you're cheering me on from Earth. And I'll be cheering you on from the Moon. I know you'll be able to tell Yuito how you... Dad! Ah, don't say it out loud! Really? I think it's important. Anyway, good luck. Yeah, but if you say you're going to be cheering me on from the Moon, I'll get embarrassed every time I look up at it. You're strange, Hanabi. What? That goes for you, too. Even if it's just a little at a time, 
If we can reduce the number of others, then we'll be able to walk around outside more freely. I'm sure that there are lots of forests and fields of flowers I haven't seen in the world. Someday, I'd like to look for places like that. I bet there are plants I've never seen on the moon, too. That's probably true, but why? Are you planning to go to the moon? No, you. I heard you were going to the moon. Oh, so you knew. Not right away, but that's my plan. So, it's true. I won't be able to have tea and talk with you face to face once it happens. Can I ask why? Did you hear about metamorphosis happening on the moon? If people there are suffering like Naomi, I don't want to idly watch from the sidelines. I actually thought I wanted to go to the moon too. But when I talked to Kagura about it, he told me absolutely not. He really cares about you. I'm sure he's just worried. Yeah. But this whole time, I had regrets. I was shocked when Naomi transformed in front of me. I couldn't do anything. It's not like me going would change anything. And a change in environment really makes me anxious. But still... Still, you wanted to go to the moon to help someone. Yes. Besides, I'm also interested in moon vegetation. If you're serious about it, then you'll be able to convince Kagero. Besides, it'd be reassuring to have you come with me. It was so easy when we teamed up for my first training exercise back when I joined the OSF. Yes. It was easy for me, too. Because you were so confident for a rookie. I'm going to try to convince Kagero. I mean, I don't really need to. He should understand once he realizes I'm serious. Yes. Let's go together. I'll help you collect moon plants. That would be great. Perhaps the reason we know that history has changed is because we were connected to you via SAS. Due to some effect of the Red String's power, we weren't affected by the change. Thanks to that, my brother will not be forgotten. Regardless of the outcome, I think that was good. You were worried about losing your power. Has anything changed? There is no change currently. Though I am sure that like Yuito, the possibility of losing my power is still present. I don't feel as uneasy or impatient as I did before though, and I did have you to listen to me. I'll do what I can now. I'll fulfill my duty as an OSF soldier and slowly change this country. A country where being a dud is in a disadvantage. Yes. Think of it as an offering to my brother's memory. I was suffering in secret, just like my brother. Worrying about what could happen because I was a dud. Should I say condolences about Karin? I haven't been able to really accept what's happened yet. Me neither. I'm still coming to terms with this new world. It's such a strange feeling. We're the only ones left from before the timeline change. You're right. The entire world changed without us. That's not something that happens every day. I once said that my brother is possessed by powers. Perhaps in the end, my brother was manipulated by the tremendous power of the Red Strings. Or perhaps my brother was happy to fulfill his wish using that power. I don't know, but he probably doesn't have any regrets. He doesn't seem like the type. Yes, that is how he was. I won't forget about Karin. Thank you. Karin traveling through time and Alice being alive. There has to be some sign of causality here. It's like an exaggerated butterfly effect. Trying to figure it out would be a waste of time. Frankly, it was a miracle. 
I hate saying something so illogical, though. What are you going to do? Me? I don't have any big plans. I'll just stay in the OSF, and it'll be the same old, same old. I could just retire and sleep all day, but such a sudden lifestyle change sounds like a pain. Because you're worried about Major General Fubuki? Do you think I'd do something so illogical? Well, it's not like I don't plan to look in on him sometimes. I just don't want him to go messing around somewhere and have to go running to help him. That sounds like worrying. Well, you're free to interpret things that way if you want. Being stubborn will only expend needless energy. I want to increase the energy efficiency to coincide with Arashi version 2.1's official release. Now, if only I could put an end to keeping up that fake smile for the OSF's PR work. Uh, I want to go to the moon, too. You heard I was going to the moon? Yeah, since I'm in charge of PR. Anyways, that's quite an idea, leaving Earth. I have trouble just leaving the house. However, that's an interesting viewpoint. I'm a little interested in space development, especially zero gravity. Just floating effortlessly and sipping soda out of a straw? That's the dream. Even with version 2.1, you're still the same old Arashi. Enough joking around, Kasane. You chose a pretty hard path. Just try your best and promise you'll come back safely. Okay, I promise. So will you be updated to your next version by the time I come back? Hmm. I didn't even think about it, but that's possible. I don't know what the future holds. Well, let's just say you'll have to wait and see when you come back. It's not so bad for a loner like me. But for those of you with family and friends, it's tough to keep track of what changed and what didn't. The world left us behind. Saying it like that sounds pretty lonely. It's nice to have you guys to share these complicated feelings with, though. It's unfortunate that even though history was rewritten, Naomi and the others are still dead. Yeah, but she found a reason to live. I have to accept it and live myself. You are so strong. I have to keep working hard until I retire too. That's so you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> I guess people will say I'm a stick in the mud. Well, even if I've started to age, there should still be some time before my power starts to weaken. I plan to do all I can in the OSF until my superiors order me to retire. And after that... You're going to help create the new system, right? Yeah. Yuito said he wanted to change this country like I did. So I'm thinking I want to help him do that. I see. He must be happy about your support. You should think about treating him to your cooking sometime. I bet your skills have improved. Yeah, I've gotten pretty confident. I also expanded my repertoire. Although, I have to follow Naomi's recipes, or ones I found on the cooking database. Besides, I started a new hobby. Sugumi is teaching me how to garden. Sounds like you're living life to the fullest. I'm sure you'll find even more hobbies at this rate. I guess you won't have anything to worry about when you finally retire. <laughs> that would be good. By the way, I heard you were participating in the Lunar Surface Survey Project. Yes. People are probably suffering there like my sister did. I was surprised when I first heard. But a part of me also understood. It was so like you. Something really outside the box. I can't even imagine what challenges are waiting for you. But I'm sure you'll be able to get through them. Yes, I'm confident. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Go follow your heart. I'll be watching over you from down here. And I'll be watching over you from the moon. Major General Fubuki is a little late. Maybe I should contact him. By the way, do you want to talk to the others? No, it's fine. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. When's the last time everyone got together like this? 
I'm glad to see nobody's changed. It hasn't been that long. I've been so busy I actually lost track of time. Man, I need a break. That makes sense since you've had to deal with the media every day. Seriously, good work. It appears there hasn't been much change with the others in this area. While new others haven't appeared since the extinction belt dissipated, it's not like the ones already here just suddenly went away. Yeah, looks like I won't be retiring anytime soon. That's right. We need to keep protecting everyone. I heard they're going to change the other reports to a system that tracks them on the surface. It looks like things are going to start changing around here, little by little. All right, let's do what we came here to do. That should do it. I want to thank everyone for coming today to honor him. So we're the only ones who remember Karin. The world changed, but we weren't affected by it. Erasing his own existence like that? I never would have thought he had it in him. Maybe it was the price to change the world the way he desired. Although I'm sure he doesn't look at it as paying a price. Why do you have to go off and make me an only child? He will exist as long as we remember him. We know that he was here in this world. Yes. Well, are you guys ready to head home? I wouldn't mind taking out a few others around here on our way out. Ugh, such the diligent soldier. Who in their right mind asks to do more work? Kasane. I heard that you're leaving. That you're going to the moon. Yes. It's something I've been thinking of ever since we heard about it in Togetsu. If the people there are suffering from metamorphosis, then there might be something I can do to help them. What if we can control the other particles by using New Himuka's metamorphosis technology? Wouldn't that be ironic? I'm glad to hear a lot of people will be helping you. Honestly, I half expected you to try to do it alone. I would if I had to. It won't be a problem. Even if I'm alone. Yeah, you're right. We're alone. Maybe that's just part of being alive. But we're still connected. No matter how far we go. Yuito, what'll you do now? I figure I'll stay in the OSF a little bit longer. After that... <sighs> who can say? I'd like to make a society where powers don't decide your fate. And I need to deal with my family's... actions. Changing the world is definitely a tall order. I know it'll take more than just talk. Don't forget, we saved the world. We already did the hard part. That's why. It's up to you to protect this place. <sighs> right. I've got this. Thank you.